Hello everybody, my name is Troy, and it is getting really close to Christmas, um, so, yeah, um, just in advance, Merry Christmas to you all, and to you all a good night, or good morning, or good afternoon, or whatever time of day it is, um, for you, um, but anyway, we're knocking over lights, and I have a new transformer for you, this guy is actually quite small, but at the same time, I really like him. Um, so today, what we're going to be reviewing is Dash. Um, this guy, um, building this guy was quite interesting. Why? Because I had so many names for him and none of them worked because of the lack of pieces I had. So the, eraser, uh, the original name was going to be Razorback. Why? Because, um, move some stuff, that way I can actually get to, to, get to this guy. Um, where these guns are and these pieces are, um, though, that was supposed to be a pair of chainsaws. And, yeah, so that's so what I was going to call him Razorback. Um... But he, anyway, what he's supposed to be is a miniature hover scooter. Um, he sits down on this 1x2 tile right here, so. Um, he sits down pretty good. Um, he's also a, um, involved with the police. Um, so he's got, he's got sirens hooked up and high beams right here. And who better to show off than ride this than Bat, uh, not Batman, Iron Man himself. Um, you can see I already got Iron Man in a pose right here. And what you do is you simply take the guns, rotate them up like that, and rotate rotate this piece out of the way. And you want to have it at an angle kind of like that. Make sure he has enough room, and then you want to simply put him in like that, and then you want to make sure his feet are resting against the siren pieces. You want to rotate these up, ro put them back, and then rotate, rotate these so they're uh, in these little holes right there, which are supposed to be his butt. I believe. I don't know. Lego Corp knows. Um, but anyway, here he is riding. And he looks really cool um, riding this. Um, you know, he's not that bad. You can kind of see his visor there. But, you know, you can't see it um, from just, like, looking around. You can, you can see it closely inspecting. But anyway, um, there's some... Other parts that are quite obvious, but let's not worry about that. Um, so what do you say we get down into transformation? So, obviously, let's get this guy out of here. And remove the minifigure. Alright, and we can get down to transformation. So you want to just strain these out. Um, you can bring these down. These will become, these will, these are the arms. Um, they're just put there, obviously. Uh, you can fold down these. Actually, you want to leave the arms where you found them. And you can bring, uh, these down, the legs down. They are kind of hard to bring them back because of them how it, they're attached on anyway you want to slide this panel up so where it's even like that and then you want to rotate it and you can see, now see his visor and all that um you want to take the guns and you want to um you want to turn them to where they're like this you can kind of see that and you want, turn them like that, yeah. And you want to 
get them out of the way. That way you can move this handlebar. Um, you want to bring the arms forward now. You want to bring... You want to... You want to move the lights up. And you want to bring the legs down and rotate them um, 180. You want to lift the legs out of the way like this. And you can uh, turn the lights out like that. And you can bring them out of the way like that. And it can knock this piece off when you do that, but that's okay. You can go ahead and put it on later. Um, you want to bring this out some, but try not to take it apart just like I did. You want to take the handlebar and fold it in. And this is kind of tricky. That piece fell out. And this piece fell out. You want to take it and rotate it around. Why it's so difficult um, is because of how tight... Uh, this piece holds the gun piece. So you want to now reinsert that back into there. And you can now strain everything out. Everything likes to fall apart on this guy. Which is a downfall unfortunately. But at the same time I still like this guy a lot. You can pull that out just a little bit. And you can um, you can rotate these all the way. Um, you want to rotate them like that. Do the same thing with this. And you can bring them to where they're actually holding the uh, handlebar in place. That way it does not move anywhere. And then you can... You want... What you want to do is you want to rotate rotate them in the opposite direction that you did earlier. And so bring them back and rotate them the other way. And orient the legs in the way they're supposed to be. Because <clears throat> this guy obviously has a backpack and you want to make sure that the legs um, are in the proper orientation to hold that. So you want to put this piece back on. Remember this ain't parts forming. It's just it came off during transformation. So you want to rotate this piece down. And put it down like that. That way it covers up some of the inner workings of the robot. And you want to rotate the hands. So they are oriented like they should. You can bring down the hands. And there you have Dash in his robot mode. As you can see, he's quite, quite tiny. Um, you know, not that bad of a, not that bad of a guy. Um, I really like the transformation on this guy. I like how much he changes. Um, as you can see, he's got quite a bit of, quite a bit of a backpack here, but that was kind of expected, if you will. Um. He's got big heel supports, which I really appreciate on this guy. And of course, I I appreciate everything on this guy. But most of all, I appreciate myself and that I came up with this. But anyway, working on this guy was quite interesting. I originally had the idea of making a um, a flat kind of plane, kind of like one of my previous Transformers and... Um, Jetstream, which I showed quite a bit of, quite a bit ago. Um, I also entered Jetstream into a contest, and I'm still waiting for the guy working on the contest to show the results, and I will announce how I did. Um, I never understood the rewards, but anyway, um, overall, he's, he looks really cool. I was originally going to go for a baseball cap with like one of those silver tooth pieces um but unfortunately that just did not work with the transformation so i got rid of that and i put a simple 
um, one by one tile on there and it looks just fine especially with the chest piece um, you can see the handlebar and I kind of like how that makes up his crotch but you know you had to cheat some way or another um, what I, my original plan again was like to make jet thrusters coming from these lights but obviously that didn't work out um, but overall I think this guy is really cool um, for comparison, here he is with Iron Man again. As you can see, he's a little bit taller than Iron Man. Um, maybe add a, a head on top of Iron Man and he would look pretty good. But anyway, um, I will do an um, instructions video on this guy, um, but not in this video. Simply because I have a lot to do. Um, especially since finals are coming up, and everyone should know that that is going to be a very stressful time for, um, middle schoolers and high schoolers and stuff like that. More for high schoolers and college, college kids, so, yeah. Um, you can't hold guns, but you were kind of expecting that. I just randomly took a bazooka and... Put that onto him. Um, however, it knocks the crap out of the balance, so you can just simply take a pistol and have him shoot that around. You know, he's a really cool guy. I like to think he's actually um, Dash from the Incredibles movie and the Incredibles 2 movie. Um, but overall, he's a pretty cool robot. But anyway, I think that's pretty much it for this guy. So, if you have any questions, comments, there's a comment section. You know where it is. If you don't, it's it's somewhere down there. Um, and that's pretty much it for this guy. So, um, this is Troy signing out.